You guys have weathered a lot of noise over the last couple of years. What does 2023 look like for the organization and, and the uptake of XRP and Ripple in general? Sure. Well, we're excited about 2023. Um, you know, we'll continue to hire, but selectively, we're not naive to the fact that the macro environment is continuing to be challenged. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll continue to focus internationally. We've been doing that for some time. Uh, Brad, all of us are out there talking about that piece of it. So the international build will continue. We need to get our core business right and continue to grow that dramatically. And then focus, as I mentioned, on other important initiatives like CBDCs, carbon credits, um, and make sure that we don't get too distracted with too many new exciting things that would take away from kind of proving the, the use case in the big business. So, uh, but it's a great way to start the year. I mean, it's the 19th of January today. Uh, we are here at another conference last week in Switzerland, uh, Davos this week. It feels like we're out of the gate strong with the agenda. Mm -hmm. Our teams are building um, and excited. And so I feel great about how the year's kicked off despite the noise and macro and obviously very challenging environment. We're going to a different economy and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance, agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order Book. The New Road Order Book is going to show you how the world really works. And it's definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. I told you at the beginning of the year, in the first quarter of 2022, we was going to have an event that was going to bring us down. And then also in the fourth quarter, we would have an event that would bring us down. That's exactly what happened. And now I'm going to tell you, in the first quarter, we're going to have an event that's going to bring us down in 2023. And then also in the fourth quarter of 2023, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, guys, the markets are still going to be pumping and dumping until they get ready to pull the full rug. But I'll let you know when that's about to happen. Now, also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids books. It's time to get reeducated. And also, much love to those who donate to the cash shop and Patreon. And in my Patreon, I keep you up to date with the New Road Order events. Also, I give you the New Road Order cryptos in the Patreon. Of course, you have to do your own research. But this next bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure that you have the cryptos that have utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And guys, we had Bitcoin and cryptos get a monster pump as options were expiring. On the weekend, guys, we know that we are the only game in town. And when we actually look at the futures market, we saw open interest moving up. So we saw liquidity come into the market. But what's interesting is that we had more volume on Thursday than we had on Friday. But we do see the volume coming back today. Now, looking at the futures volume and open interest, guys, we know when it's high. We know at the end of the month, once those contracts end, we take a big dump. Now, we know that back moved to Thursday to offset that. But since we've been in this bear market, we know we've been pulling back. Now, we know January was going to be a good month because the central banks weren't meeting 
and the month of January. And then also, guys, we had the Bank of Japan pause on the yields, and I'm going to go over that later. But guys, we know an event is coming up soon. The reason why we know is because we see the Genesis situation is being swept under the rug. We normally get news like this of bankruptcy. They have it all over the media. Bitcoin and cryptos take a dump. But we know we have Davos going on. We know they like to get things pumping. So therefore, people are distracted. And if the masses could hear the things that are discussed in Davos, they would definitely wake up. And then we also had Bislato, which the DOJ came in on. But guys, we know that none of us use Bislato. A lot of us never even heard of it before. But don't forget when Kevin O'Leary stated there was going to be another exchange, a big exchange that was going down. Then we had FTX. And then again, Kevin O'Leary comes back now and says something as big is going to happen that's going to take it to zero. And we know another event is coming. And don't forget Bislato was using Binance for majority of their transactions. And we know just by the news of the DOJ going out to Binance, crypto would move down. So guys, do not allow this mini pump to distract you because we know the Fed is not done. We're definitely going to be coming down. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now don't forget about the actual indicators, guys. We had yield rates on Friday slightly rose, not a lot. We had the dollar pull back, and I'm going to discuss that later, but we know that's helping commodities and Bitcoin. And then, of course, guys, we have volume, we have tether, we have USDC, and then we have the Fed. Repo still over $2 trillion. We know the central banks are going to be raising rates in the next 10 days and rolling off the balance sheet. And don't forget, guys, this week here, we have Chinese New Year. So their stock market is going to be closed for a whole week. So that's going to take a lot of liquidity out of the stock market. We'll see if some of that is going to move into crypto because we know crypto is 24-7. Now, guys, as we saw the dollar get weaker, we saw commodities moving up. Gold, silver, we saw Bitcoin also get a relief and then plus stocks. And the most important piece we saw when the BOJ made a change to the yields we saw the dollar pull back aggressively. So we saw the central bank's hand. So we know if the BOJ raises rates or make an adjustment on those yields, we know the dollar is going to come crumbling down. But we know they're not going to do that just yet. But we did get to see the blueprint. We saw exactly what they're going to be doing. So once the Fed pauses and we have these other central banks moving up their interest rates and rolling off the balance sheet, that's going to put pressure on the dollar. And we know if the BOJ makes a move, the dollar is going to keep moving down, which is going to be great for Bitcoin, cryptos, and stocks who are geared for the fourth industrial revolution. If they have utility for the machine takeover, because remember, the central banks are destroying this legacy market as we know it. Remember, the next bull run is going to be a utility run. And we see these big corporations getting ready for the fourth industrial revolution. I've sent plenty of articles in my Patreon on these corporations turning to AI or turning to automation. Because remember, the NWO caused the problem, wait for the reaction, and run in with the solution. They printed all this money, 20% of all money in existence in one year, in order to cause all this inflation, but at the same time, raise wages and then also raise rates, which are putting pressure on the small businesses, which employ majority of the people. And then we have these corporations that are going to be paying a 15% tax. So we know they're going to pass it off to the consumer and then also lay off, which we're already seeing. So by the end of the year, guys, we're going to start getting a reaction from the people. And we know that the NWO already has a solution ready. The robots, algorithms, and drones, and programmable money telling you what, where, and when, and how to buy. And you have three to six months to spend it or poof, it's gone. But we know they need one more crisis in order to bring it about. And we see the debt ceiling, which I don't see as the main crisis, 
but it's the leaders there. We know that the Republicans now take over the House, and we know they're going to put their foot on the Hegelian dialectic in order to get us moved over to this digital transformation. And we know they're going to put on a show. The Republicans are going to be for the digital transformation, and the Democrats are going to be against it. But we know that behind closed doors, they're working together in order to move it forward. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, we have Grayscale sitting at about $19.7 billion. And we know Digital Currency Group owns Grayscale. And also Coindesk. And don't forget, Coindesk broke the news on FTX. All these companies were connected together for reasons, like one thread. Remember I told you, you're watching a movie, get your popcorn, sit back, and let it play out. But getting over into a little crypto news, we have Stellar joined CFTC Global Markets Advisory Committee. And guys, we see Stellar Foundation at Davos also. And we know Ripple's XRP and then also Stellar XLM heavenly in the emerging markets. Remember, guys, the NWO wants the emerging markets to lead the fourth industrial revolution because America to Babylon has to come down. It's the last free nation. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. And speaking of the emerging markets, we saw Binance get an increase in trading. Also, we have Moody's downgrades Coinbase. And guys, over these next few months, Bitcoin, cryptos, and stocks are going to be taking a beating. But like I stated, the fourth industrial revolution, stocks and cryptos are going to rise. We saw this with Big Tech. We've seen this movie before. And lastly, guys, we have Ripple's VP. Speaking of CBDCs and carbon credits, and like he stated, it's going to be a challenging year. But we know 2023 to 2024 are for building years of the fourth industrial revolution. So wake your friends and family up. Because remember, once CBDCs get into a place, they can tell you what, where, and when, and how to buy. And we know carbon credits are all about restricting the movements of humanity. And remember the crypto teacher told you, because he knows, when it comes to the New Road Order, it's all planned out. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher, and the New Road Order book. Plus the three kids, books is time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, Betu, Binance, and I forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Stock Channel, guys, don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your call ball, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get home socks to see where the biotech stocks and while everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory. 
to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.